G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're going to be looking at how to live stream using the custom RTMP option in vMix. This option allows you to copy and paste a stream URL and a stream name or key into vMix to stream to any provider. Within vMix, we have a number of streaming providers listed in our streaming menu, which can be easily accessed by using their API connection. This means you can log into your provider account and create and manage streams directly from within vMix. Now, sometimes you may need to stream to a provider that's not in that list, and that's where you can use the custom RTMP option from the streaming menu. This custom RTMP option is also useful if API access to a particular provider is unavailable for some reason, or perhaps someone doesn't want you logging into their account and they just wanna give you the URL and the key, or maybe you've arrived at an event and they want you to stream somewhere and they just hand you a URL and a key and you need to be able to stream to that location. So let's go ahead and take a look at the streaming menu in vMix now. Now the stream menu can be found in the bottom of vMix by clicking on the little gear icon next to stream down the bottom here. So this is the streaming menu here in vMix. Now up the top here, you do have some profiles that you can create and you can also stream out to three different locations and you can check out some of our other streaming videos for more information about that. Now, in order to access a destination in vMix, you can use this drop down menu here. Now you will see a bunch of different options here like you know Twitch, YouTube, uh, Restream, Vimeo and that sort of thing where we have API access, meaning you just need to log into your account with them through vMix and then you can create and manage streams directly from here. However, if you don't see that uh, your provider listed here, that's when you can use the custom RTMP server that's up the very top. So we're just gonna select that for now. Now underneath that, you'll see the URL and the stream name or key. So the URL is the URL of the server that you need to connect to. And that's going to start with an RTMP colon slash slash or RTMPS colon slash slash, which means that it's the secure version of RTMP. Now, a lot of providers have started switching to RTMPS but it can start with either of those. And you'll see in our example a little bit later on that Facebook now requires you to use RTMPS for the URL. Now underneath that, you'll see stream name or key. Now that's a unique bit of code that allows you to access the server in order to publish your stream. So you could consider the URL like the house, and then you have the stream name or key as access to the house so that you can start streaming. Each provider may use something slightly different. That's why we have stream name or key, which is most likely what it's going to be called. So basically you need a URL and then you need a access code in order to be streaming to that server. Most providers should have the stream URL and the stream key slash name in the settings. So even destinations like Facebook and YouTube offer these manual streaming options. So seeing as Facebook is a pretty popular destination, I'm gonna go through the process of creating a manual stream there and then show you how you can put the URL and the key into vMix. Now keep in mind that this process is going to be different depending on where you're setting this stream up and which provider you're using. And even Facebook, this might be different in a few hours time. They do like to change their interface quite a bit. But as long as you've got a URL and a stream key or name, then you should be good to go. All right, so now I'm gonna jump over to my web browser and we'll go through and set it up. So here I am in my Facebook page. This is currently what it looks like in 2022. It might be totally different now, but there is a live video option here that I can click on. So I'm just gonna click on that. And as you can see, it's opened up a page where I can go live or create live video event. Now you can also go to facebook.com slash live slash producer. Now that's something that's been working for many years now, although it might not work in the future, but that's also an option if you just wanna go there directly, that's what you'll need to type in. All right, so I'm going to select this option here to go live. All right, so let's start on the left-hand side here. Now we have, I have my name and then I can choose where I wanna post it. So I can go to a timeline, I can go to a page, I can go to a group. And then underneath that, when do I wanna go live? Is it now or is it scheduled? And then underneath that, I can choose the access. So who is going to be able to access this, whether it's public, um, or whether it's going to be just me. Now, because I'm doing this tutorial, I'm just gonna be streaming it to me so nobody else sees it. However, if you wanted to go public, you would select public there. Now let's move over to the middle section of the screen here. You can see at the top, it says select a video source and we are using streaming software because that's what vMix is. So we've got streaming software selected. Now underneath that, you'll see stream key and that's one of the pieces of information that we need in order to get the stream going. And if we click on advanced settings down here, it will then provide the server URL. So then we have this server URL and the stream key, which are the two pieces of information that we need in order to stream to vMix. 
Now you will notice some other options here, persistent stream key, which means that you wouldn't have to ever change your settings in vMix because it's going to the same stream key. You would just need to go in here and create a new title for it each time if you wanted to. So if we select this, um, that will then change the stream key, generate a new stream key. It's up to you whether you wanna do it this way or not, totally up to you. So now we're going to move over to the right hand side of the screen here and you'll see we've got title, so we'll call this tutorial and then description, which we'll call this test. So we have a description here and you can choose whether to share it on the story or not up the top. Okay, so we're mostly done now, but one last thing that we need to do is go over to the settings here and we're just gonna go into the stream settings. So up the top here, you'll see streaming settings and then you have some options here that you can adjust. So this one here is end the live video if stream stops. Now, if you read this thing here, you will say that if it disconnects from your software, you can't reconnect to it. So if you've got a intermittent uh, internet problem or something like that, it's not gonna connect back up to the stream. So I turn this off here so that it's not going to end if I have any internet problems. Underneath that, you'll see streaming latency. It's up to you whether you wanna do an automatic or normal low latency, it's up to you. You can choose to embed the video uh, and various other options here. So that's, uh, I think that's about it. If we head back to stream setup here, then we can go ahead and copy and paste this information into our production and then get going. So these are the two bits of information we need, the stream key and the server URL. So I'm gonna copy that into vMix. So that's our stream key in here. Now we just need to copy the server URL from down here. And our server URL. Okay, so now we've got those two pieces of information in vMix, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to go save and close, and then I'm gonna hit the stream button down here to start the stream. So it's gonna go orange when it's connecting, and then it will connect to the stream. So as you can see now on my page, I've now got my video coming through. Now in order to start the stream so everybody can actually see it on my page, I need to click the go live button down here. So when I click this go live button, you'll see that I've got a live video option here and people should start being able to see it. And that will then send me over to my dashboard page where I can see who's connected and that sort of thing to my stream. So each provider are gonna offer some different settings and different options. So things like Facebook, you do need to turn it on when going live, like when you use that option for, for going live now, you do need to turn it on. Uh, and then you'll also need to turn it off as well. With YouTube, you can set it up so it will automatically start when you hit the go button in vMix. So you're gonna have to just go through the settings and work out what's going to work and what's not going to work for you. When you wanna stop streaming to your Facebook page, what you'll need to do is go down to the end live video button down the bottom here. Now it's important to turn off your live stream in Facebook so that it stops the stream. Because we're not using the API method, vMix doesn't have a way of telling Facebook to turn off the stream. So you will need to do it in Facebook. Now I like to do it in Facebook first and then go turn off the stream in vMix. If you do it the other way around, then you'll see some blank uh, video on your Facebook stream, which is not really what you want. So I'm gonna end the live video. Now you will notice in vMix it's gone orange now because it's not connected because there's no stream, it's been finished. So I'm just gonna turn it off in vMix as well. Now you can turn it off in vMix first and then turn it off in Facebook, but I prefer to just shut it off in Facebook so that's the end of the stream. And I know that's when it's finished and I don't forget about it. Um, and it's not just blank when it's going to Facebook. People don't wonder what's happened. So if you're using somewhere like YouTube, you will need to then go turn it off as well. So I'd prefer to turn it off at the provider and then you can turn it off in vMix so you don't have any sort of dead air. So it's definitely finished there as well. So that's mainly with the custom RTMP option. So if I was using the Facebook API connection to stream to it, I can turn it on and off in vMix. I don't need to log into Facebook to turn it off. Now, as I mentioned before, most streaming providers, whether it's a paid option or a free option, should be able to give you a URL and a stream key so that you can stream to the platform. So don't worry if you don't see it from the drop-down menu, you can just use the custom RTMP and then copy and paste directly into that streaming section. So if you do have any questions about streaming, please send us through an email via the contact form on vmix.com. We can't answer any technical questions via YouTube comments as we do require technical information about your stream and your setup and that sort of thing. So thanks for watching and we'll stream you later.